Hello guys, it's Gaurav and uh, I welcome you here in the second video of this video series of simple way to learn trigonometric formulas and in this video I'll be telling you simple logic to learn the half angle and one third angle formulas of sine and cos and uh, I will also talk about the formula of tan x plus y and uh, I'm not going to talk about the formula of tan 3x in this video I'll be talking about it in the upcoming video so let's get started so first of all I would like to talk about the formula of cos 2x see in the formula of cos 2x let me write it we have the basic one that the cos 2x is cos square x minus sine square x right so what is this what is the confusion in this formula so in this formula of cos 2x we, we remember we always remember that one of the terms will be cos square x another and the other will be sine square x but the confusion is that which term will come first that will the formula be cos square x minus sine square x or will it be sine square x minus cos square x uh, so this is a really big confusion so let's solve this confusion see here in the formula of cos 2x you can easily understand that we are seeing a you know decrease in the coefficient of the angle it is cos 2x turning to x why it's the formula half angle formula right so angle is going to be half so let's check out the sine as well as I've, as I've told you in the previous video as well that cos is bad and sine is good so cos will always try to snatch the positive sign and will give the negative one to sine so in this formula of cos 2x we'll see that cos square x will get a positive sign and sine square x will get a negative one so what will be the formula of cos 2x it'll be cos square x minus of sine square x so this was the very basic and the very easy formula of cos 2x and the upcoming formulas of cos 2x are 2 cos square x minus 1 and 1 minus 2 sine square x let's, so let's just check out those formulas as well so we know that let me use a different pen we know <coughs> that sine square x plus cos square x is 1 this is what we know uh, how let's check out uh, any values let x be 90 degrees then we'll have sine square x as 1 and cos square x will become 0 so we know 1 plus 0 is 1 so it's true so what are the results that we're gonna get with this formula the first one will be sine square x is equal to 1 minus cos square x and the other one will be cos square x is 1 minus sine square x so we get two results and two formulas so what if we put the value of sine square x and cos square x in the formula of cos 2x that we have just learned let's check out so if I put the formula cos 2x is equal to so first I'm gonna put the value of cos square x that is 1 minus sine square x minus of sine square x so this is going to add up and become 1 minus 2 sine square x so this is the first formula of cos 2x and if you put the value of sine square x then we we'll get uh, you get cos square x minus of minus of 1 plus cos square x this is going to add up and become 2 cos square x minus 1 so this will become the formula of cos 2x <coughs> so what we have seen is that this is an easy way to derive the formulas if you have a good basic trigonometry but how to learn them see we will have two formulas of cos 2x and one of them will contain 2 cos square x and the other one will contain 2 sine square x and both the formulas will contain one as well so as we know that cos is bad 
it will snatch the positive sign in this third formula that is 2 cos square x minus 1 and will give the negative sign to 1 whereas in the formula of cos 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square x we'll have a negative sign for sine and 1 will get a positive sign so we'll get the two formulas and we can learn them easily by the simple logic of cos is bad and sine is good so now let's move on to the formulas of sine 2x it's a half angle formulas of sine so first of all I would like to talk about the formula of sine x plus y because it's going to help us a lot, a lot to get to the formula of sine 2x so I'm that sine x plus y is sine x cos y plus cos x sine y right this is what we know if you have any problem in learning this formula then you can check out my previous video uh, so I'm not gonna explain it again another, another time because I've done the same in the previous video as well so what if I put sine x plus x what if I find the value of sine x plus x then sine x plus x will come out to be let's write it again sine x cos x plus cos x sine x so what can I write it as 2 sin x cos x isn't it easy and this can be written as sin 2x so this is how we have simply derived the formula of sin 2x right 2 sin x cos x right so this was the derivation so let's check out how to learn it see this 2 that is the coefficient of x will come as it is to the right hand side right and you can also see that it's a half angle formula so angle is going to be halved the 2x is converted to x and x in both the cases of sine and cos as well and as we know that sine is good so it will maintain equality and will give one part itself and the second one to cos so we get the formula of sine 2x as 2 sine x cos x so let's move on the next formulas so now I would like to talk about the formula of tan 2x so let's first talk about the formula of tan x plus y see in the formula of tan x plus y we have one term of tan x the other of tan y and in the denominator we have 1 and tan x times tan y right and what's the sign convention see the sign on the left hand side will be the same in the right hand side of the numerator and its opposite is going to be the in the denominator of the right hand side so the formula of tan x plus tan tan x plus y will become tan x plus tan y over 1 minus tan x tan y so what if it is tan x minus y then we're going to put the same sign that is a negative sign in the numerator of the right hand side and the opposite of it in the denominator of the right hand side okay so what if we talk about the formula of tan 2x we see that tan 2x comes out to be tan x plus x right which can be written as tan x plus tan x over 1 minus opposite sign tan square x right so tan 2x can be simply written as 2 tan x over 1 minus tan square x so that was a simple way to write the formula of tan 2x if you know the formula of tan x plus y which I've just told you how to learn them so this was the formula of half angle formula of sine into sine cos into cos and sine and tan into tan so we also have the formula of sine 2x and cos 2x uh, we have a half angle formula in tan as well so let's check out them as well so we know that we have cos 2x is equal to cos square x minus sine square x so let's divide the right hand side and multiply it as well with cos square x Guys, right, so I'm going to multiply it with the same as well. So, this cos square x is going to get cancelled. So, I'll get 1 here. And I also know 
that sin x by cos x is tan x so its square will become tan square x and cos square x can be written as 1 by secant square x its reciprocal is 1 by secant square x right and secant square x we know is 1 plus tan square x so we have another formula of cos 2x we have simply derived it and I have told you how to write it very easily right? cos 2x is 1 minus tan square x over 1 plus tan square x now let's talk about the formula of sin 2 sin 2x now we know the formula of sin 2x as 2 sin x cos x now I'm gonna divide it by cos x and multiply it by the same so what will I get I will get sin x by cos x this can be written as tan x and if I multiply this these two cos x I will get secant square x actually that not secant square x that is actually 1 over secant square x right I get cos square x will become 1 over secant square x right so I will get 2 tan x over secant square x right I mean that secant square x 1 plus tan square x so I will get the formula of sine 2 x as see sine 2 x is 2 tan x over <coughs> 1 plus tan square x so this will become the formula of sine 2 x isn't it simple let's move on let's talk about the one third angle formulas of cos and sine so just before I talk about the one third angles formulas first of all I'd like to talk about one thing let's say for example I compare 2 and 2 cube which one is bigger obviously 2 cube 2 cube is 8 and 2 is obviously 2 and 8 is greater than 2 if I compare 3 and 3 cube then 3 cube is bigger which is 27 which will always be greater than 3 now another thing is that if I subtract 2 from 2 cube I'll get a bigger value as compared to if I use 2 minus 2 cube in this case I'm gonna get a small value so and the same is going to be for 3 as well 3 cube minus 3 is a big value and 3 minus 3 cube is a small value right now let's use this logic to the one third angles formula so as you know that cos is bad as sine is good cos is going to keep a bigger value for itself and is going to give a smaller value to sine so let's talk about the formula of sine, cos 3x we know that cos 3x formula is going to involve two terms cos x to the power 1 and cos x to the power 3 right and we are also going to involve some coefficients like 4 3 and minus 1 but the confusion is that where to use these things so let's solve this problem see cos is bad so it's going to keep the bigger value for itself right so when I'm gonna subtract a uh, power 1 from cube I will get a bigger value so I will get cos cube x minus cos x as the formula of cos 2x also cos is bad so it's going to make its bigger value even bigger and the smaller value and it, it'll keep us its smaller value smaller so that it'll get a bigger and a more positive answer so it will multiply 4 to cos cube x and multiply 3 to cos x and you can see that minus 1 is also used here right so we'll get the formula of cos 3x as 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x right let's talk about the formula of sin 3x which will be just opposite of this formula in sin 3x we're also going to involve two powers sin cube x and sin x that'll be sin x and sin cube x same coefficients that is 4 3 and minus 1 but because sine is good it'll going to get a smaller value that is I'm gonna subtract one power I get one power minus third power so I'll get a smaller and a negative value and I'll make a 
the smaller value even smaller by multiplying it by 3 and the bigger value even bigger by multiplying it by 4 so that I will get an even smaller and negative answer so that was the formula of sine 